Hello everyone and welcome to this brief overview of Claro Read. I'm going to be showing you Claro Read today on my Windows device, but Claro Read is available on Windows, Mac, Chrome, Android, iPad, as well as mobile apps. And of course, every DSA Claro Read license will come with access to both autocorrect and orbit notes. So to get started, we are going to have a look at our settings and we're going to have a look at our voices. So obviously the voice in which we're going to hear our text read back to us through Clara Read is going to be important. So if we go to our speech settings, we have a little drop down box here and this has all the voices available to us. If we go to select online voices, we have such a wide range of voices, including different, including Welsh voices, Scots Gaelic voices, different languages, different accents, uh, male, female. So lots of different voices here that will suit something to suit every student. And if we want to test that voice, we can just click on it and hit our little test button. One, two, three, four, five. Or maybe we're going to want to try Emma. One, two, three, four, five. Once we are happy with the voice, we can just click on it and press OK. And if we go into our advanced speech settings here as well, we can choose what way our text is going to be highlighted along with our text to speech. So maybe we don't want any highlight at all. Maybe we want it highlighted a word at a time, a sentence at a time, paragraph at a time. And we can also change the color of our highlight, both in the background and the foreground. So once the student is happy with their settings, we can come back out into our text and start to use our toolbar. Text-to-speech first, very simple. We just hit our cursor wherever we want our text to start reading and we hit play. The story of Dracula is told in epistolary form, pieced together from us. And that will continue reading until I tell it to stop. There's also some features here which will help us understand and comprehend this text a bit more. So maybe there is a word within this document that maybe I'm not quite sure of. I can highlight my word. I can go to my little check button at the top and it will give me a definition of what that word means, as well as a simple um, picture icon as well. And it will also give me some synonyms that maybe I have confused. As well as giving me ways in which I can read, listen and comprehend this text, it also offers me ways in which I can answer questions myself. So maybe I am answering a question and I'm going to just type it myself. What Clara Reid will offer me is my predict element here, which will predict which word is coming up next, giving me a little boost in my confidence when typing. It'll also give me the option to dictate my text into this. And Clara Reid does work with Dragon. So if a student has Dragon on their systems as well, Clara Reid will use Dragon to dictate. So a wide range of ways in which I can comprehend, listen and uh, text type answers myself. As well, we have some things on this toolbar like our save option here. So maybe I am just getting a bit fed up sitting at my desk for hours at a time reading text what i can do is highlight the text go to my little save icon at the top what that will do is will convert that text into an mp3 that i can just pop on my phone pop in my headphones and maybe take a walk and listen and retain that information as well as the icons on our main toolbar we do have extras here we have things like our screen ruler claro read claro capture things like our claro ideas which is just a basic mind mapping uh, tool there for students to sort of get their ideas down we have audio notes where we can leave maybe revision notes for ourselves on that piece of text claro pdf where we can have pdfs read back as well as things like our screen marker screen marker just being great maybe if i am reading this text and maybe have to go between screens. Maybe I'm going onto the web. And when I come back to this text, I want to remember where I left my reading. So some lovely little tools there in our extras. So that was a basic overview of Clara Read. Obviously not an in-depth review of all the features. If you require that, please do get in touch with us. We would be more than happy to do that. As always, thanks for listening and we're always here for any queries. Thank you.